This is my heavily populated DP32 based micro MD1 laser interferometer measurement unit. What you can see here is uh, several sensors that have been connected to this board to be able to measure humidity, temperature and pressure. And over here you can see the uh, uh, receivers, line receivers that can take the uh, measurements from these uh, inputs right here for ref x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis, or however you want to call your axes. Okay. Um, there's a USB interface right here, which I use, but of course this can also be powered by external power if that's what you want to do. Let's have a look at the back of this board. Here you can see a Bluetooth transceiver with which it's possible to send all the distance information um, to a Bluetooth receiver over a serial link. So this could be a telephone or a computer or other Bluetooth device. This is an SG Micro MD1. Sam uh, redesigned this board because the DP32 is not available anymore. They end of life did. Uh, the layout of this board is very similar to the original layout. You can see that the, uh, the, the various axes of measurements are here on the side. Um, there are now headers for the various uh, sensors that this board can, uh, can, can read from. And there's a small prototyping area over here uh, if you want to mount uh, any of the hardware in this particular area. Uh, one difference is that the USB plug is not in the same place anymore. It is now over here. And uh, at least in my case, uh, this case won't work very well anymore. I'm going to test this board outside of, out of, outside of the case of the previous board to see uh, how well this works for me. I expect no problems. Uh, basically, since this is the same microcontroller running on the same software, running on substantially the same schematic, uh, there should be really no difference in swapping out the boards. And that's what I'm here to test. Here you can see the new board after it has replaced my existing DP32 based one. It is a very easy drop in replacement. Because SAM's firmware does interpolation on the microcontroller, the reading here has a much higher resolution than the DP32 based one. But the result, thankfully, is very similar to the test of this stage I ran with the DP32 based micro MD1. On 8 millimeters of travel, we see an accuracy of about 4 or 5 microns and a repeatability of less than 500 nanometers.